So this is an example of the bus pre-trip that you'd be using during testing purposes for your driving skills and your bus pre-trip for getting your license. Approach the bus, we'd come to the service door. We want to check the service door. We want to make sure it opens and closes. We want to check all of the glass, make sure there's no cracks or breaks and that it is relatively clean. We want to check the seal, make sure it's nice and soft and pliable and is in functioning order. Door looks good. Come up, we want to check our handrails, make sure they are present, secure, nothing broke or damaged there. We want to look at our stairs, make sure there's no tripping hazards, make sure they're relatively clean and there's nothing peeling up or broken with the stairs. Coming up into the bus, first thing we'll look at is our fire extinguisher. Make sure that it is present, it is pinned, properly tagged, and charged. Coming up with our other emergency equipment, we're going to make sure our first aid kit is present and our bodily fluid cleanup kit is present as well. We also want to check and make sure that we have our red um, reflective triangles. Oftentimes they're right here. If not, they would be up here and those are in their red box right up here above the windshield. For the red reflectors, we're going to continue looking for the rest of our safety equipment. That would be our uh, cameras. In this bus we have three cameras mounted along the sides. One, two, and three. Oftentimes there'll be a camera here or in the very back of the bus as well. Continuing, we're gonna look for our fuses and our hand tools. That should be in a bag over here in the glove box to the left of the driver's seat. Sitting in the driver's seat, we wanna make sure that it is adjusted for us in comfortable position where we can reach the pedals. Wanna grab the seat, the seat belt want to make sure that there's no nicks or frays that it works properly and is secured from there we want to look at our windshield make sure that it is relatively clean no cracks or breaks in that we want to look at our mirrors our uh, crossover mirrors in the front that they are clean not broken that they are adjusted to where we can see the danger zone in front of the bus from there, we're going to look at our flat and convex mirrors on the side, driver's side and passenger side, that those are clean and adjusted for us to where we can see down the side of the bus and behind in perspective areas. Also want to make sure that the passenger mirror is secure and adjusted to where we can see all of the smiling faces of our passengers behind us. Um, from there, steering wheel, want to make sure that there's not more than if just a few inches of play in the steering wheel, that our horn works, it does. And we're going to then check our brake pedal and brake motor. I'm going to press the brake pedal three times and then hold it, listening for that brake motor and making sure that the pedal doesn't sink all the way to the floor. Brake pedal holds and we can hear that brake motor come on. That is all good there. Next, we're gonna continue on and we're gonna to start to start the bus. Gonna take the key, move it over one position to the right. Then all of our lights and everything will come on here. We're waiting for our coil or glow plug light to go out, our exhaust filter lights to go out, and our ABS lights to go out. Once all those are out, we can start the bus by holding the key all the way over. Engine catches and bus comes on. From there, we're gonna check a few gauges. The main thing we wanna check now is that our DEF gauge has plenty of, um, is plenty full. It is three quarters. We wanna make sure that it is over half. We have plenty of fuel for our trip as well. So next we're gonna do our parking brake and service brake check. We're going to test our parking brake first. 
going to make sure that the parking brake is engaged. We can see the red park light on there that it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that parking brake engaged. I'm going to move, put my foot on the brake. I'm going to move the gear selector down into drive one notch. And I'm going to rev up the engine up over a thousand RPMs. Doing that is what we're doing is we're checking to make sure that that parking brake holds and the bus doesn't move. That is satisfactory. Now I'm going to test the service brake. So bus still in gear, foot back on the brake. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to release the parking brake. The light is off. Bus is in gear. I'm going to accelerate to about five miles per hour, then press the service brake, making sure that it works and the bus doesn't pull to either side. And brakes, bus stops, bus doesn't pull to either side. I'm gonna re-secure the bus, gear back into neutral, foot on brake, apply the parking brake with my left foot, indicator light comes on, bus is secure. Now I'm going to do my uh, interior light and switch check. I'm going to start with my four ways here up above the steering wheel. I see that on the dash. I can see that outside in my mirrors. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. I'm going to turn my headlights on here right up on the front of the dash. I'm going to turn my high beam indicator on. That's on that's off. I'm going to turn my windshield wipers on, make sure they work, and I'm going to push this in making sure that the washer fluid works as well. Wipers and fluid works well there. I'm going to get up, I'm going to secure our service door so I can check its operation and lights. Seatbelt back on, as always when in the driver's seat. Right now, door is open. I'm gonna turn my amber flashers on with this button on the right here. I can see the amber flashers on the dash there. I'm gonna close our door. Now I'm gonna open the door, that amber flasher, that should twist to our red flashers. Our red flasher light is on. Our door comes open, crossing arm comes out, and our stop sign and light comes out and is on there. I'm going to close that. Sign comes back. Crossing arm comes back in. Our door closes. Light goes off. I'm going to check our step well heater, making sure that that is operational for safety. That comes on. Our windshield defroster, going to check to make sure that comes on on this switch over here. That comes on, we can hear it and feel it. And over here, this bottom button or switch, I'm gonna check our strobe light. So we can see that the red indicator light is on. If we look back up and through that last roof hatch exit, we can see that our strobe light is in fact strobing back there. Right, so after we checked our strobe light, we're going to do the rest of our interior bus check. We're going to be checking our seats, making sure that they are all secure, no rips or tears in the seats, that all of our seat belts look functional. We're going to go all the way to the back. We're also checking our aisle, making sure that it is clear, no tripping hazards or anything like that. We're going to come all the way to the back of the bus. We're going to check our rear emergency exit. That buzzer's going to sound as soon as we open this. Sometimes they get a little sticky, but they open and close. So we have seven emergency exits. We have the rear exit. We have two on the roof. And then we have two windows on each side of the bus, totaling seven emergency exits. So now while we still have the bus running, we're gonna do our exterior lamp check and the exterior walk around of the bus. So our bus is running. 
we're going to make sure our headlights are off. We're going to start our lamp check. This button is right to the left of our headlights over here on the dash. We're going to push that. It lights up. And then on our dash, we can see the cycling through of the different lights. Now we will head outside and do that. With this, we're going to be checking for several things that our lights are working, that they're all, lenses are all present, nothing cracked, broken, or missing. So we start at the top. We have our orange clearance lights or amber clearance lights. Those three are there. We have our red and amber overhead flashers. Those four lights are all working, all present, nothing cracked or broken. We have our turn signals, they're all lighting up. We have our headlights. We can check for the high beam and the low beam here. Our turn signal and marker on both sides. Also while we're here, we're going to check our crossing arm. Make sure that it is securely mounted. Check again our marker lights. We have three. There's two amber and one red. They're all present and working. We have our side marker light and our it is working and our stop sign. Also, while we're here, we're going to check our reflective tape that's running down along the side of the bus and around our emergency exits. And then we have three reflective circles: two amber and one red in the back. All lights are working and present, and all reflective tape and markers on the side of the bus are present. Now we'll go to the back of the bus. All right, so now that we're at the back of the bus, just like the front of the bus, we're going to check all of our lights, that they're working, nothing cracked or broken, and that they're all present. So in the back, our clearance lights are red. Those are all working. We have our four red and amber head overhead flashers. We have our left and right turn signal. We have our brake lights, our reverse lights, and tail lights. All lights are working. All lenses are present. Nothing cracked, broken, or missing. Also on the back of the bus, we're gonna check all of our reflective tape. It is all present around the door and around the sides of the bus. We'll now come to the passenger side and check all those same things. Well, on the passenger side of the bus, we have our three marker lights, the red, the two amber, those are working. We have our side marker light, and up by the door, we have our door light. All the lights are working. They're present, nothing cracked or broken or missing. Also, while we're on this side of the bus, we're gonna check two additional things. We're gonna check our fuel cap behind this little door here. We wanna make sure that it is present, tight, nothing leaking there. Our door closes and we're going to check up the fuel cage underneath. Make sure that it is present, nothing cracked or broken, no leaks present with the fuel cage underneath. Then we'll come up towards the front of the bus. We're going to check our DEF tank. It opens at this door here. The cap is present. It is secure. The tank is secure, there's nothing leaking, broken, or missing there. Door opens and closes securely. So now that we've done our exterior check of the bus with the lights and other accessories, we're now going to turn the bus off and do our under the hood and mirrors check. So starting from the front of the bus, we want to look at the overall appearance of the bus. Make sure it's not leaning to one side or the other. That could be a tire fl inflation or suspension issue. Our bus looks flat and level right now. We want to look under the front of the bus, under the engine area, make sure that we don't have any leaks or anything like that that we can see obviously in the front of the bus. We're going to come up to the front of the bus on the passenger side. We're going to check our crossover mirror, make sure that it is securely mounted. Again, nothing broken or missing. It's relatively clean. Our side mirror, Securely mounted. Again, nothing broken or missing. Relatively clean. And unlatch this side of the hood. Going to go around to the driver's side. Again, crossing, checking that crossover mirror. Make sure it is securely mounted. Not cracked, broken, relatively clean. 
come up to the side mirror. Again, it is secure. Nothing cracked or broken, relatively clean. Unlatch this side of the hood and then open the hood. There's a nice little handle here. It's not too heavy. And the hood opens. We're gonna come around to the driver's side. We're first gonna give an overall look at the engine and engine area, making sure that we don't see any obvious leaks, anything that shows, you know, immediate problem. Once we do that, we're gonna come up here to our brake fluid reservoir. We're gonna make sure the caps are secure. We're gonna check the fluid level, make sure that we have plenty of brake fluid. It's between the min and the max here, that's good. We want to check all of our electrical lines, make sure nothing is frayed or missing, and that the whole thing is secure. We can come down over it here. This is our coolant reservoir. Again, we want to make sure that the cap is on, that we have plenty of coolant. It's between the add and the max. That's good. We want to check our all our electrical lines, make sure nothing is frayed, broken, and that everything is secure here. We'll come down to our power steering fluid reservoir. Again, we want to make sure that the cap is on, that it's got plenty of fluid. It is between the min, the minimum, and the max. That is plenty good. We want to make sure that everything is secure. We want to make sure that we're not leaking, that all of our lines are secure. Coming up back up here, this is our transmission dipstick. To check this, we would want to make sure that the transmission is warm and that the bus is parked on level ground. We'd pull the dipstick out, wipe it off, replace it, pull it back out, check the level on the dipstick. This is our oil um, check dipstick here. For this, we would want to make sure that the engine is cold and again that the bus is parked on flat level ground. Again, we would pull it out, wipe it off place it back in, pull it back out to check the level on there. We typically don't do that. That's for the shop, but you need to know this for the test. This here is our steering column. Just like inside, we want to make sure that we don't have any excessive play. Just a little bit like that is perfect. Steering gearbox here and steering linkage down here. We're checking for any signs of obvious damage. We're checking to make sure that everything is secure that all of our uh, castle nuts and kingpins are in place along through our steering linkage and everything here. Also down into our tie rod back here. We want to check it as best as we can, make sure that there's no signs of obvious damage, that everything is secure, and that all the hardware castle nut and kingpin is in place. While we're here, we're also going to check our chalk absorber here, making sure that everything is secure. There's no obvious signs of damage or fluid leaking. Everything appears normal and in proper order. Also with our suspension, we wanna check our leaf spring that goes along here. We wanna make sure that none of the um, leaves look like they're shifted, broken, and at the, all the hanging points on the uh, leaf spring brackets that everything looks secure, nothing looks broken or damaged. With the U-bolts here, nothing looks broken or damaged. Everything is in place. So with that, we're then going to move along into here to our uh, brake system and lines. We want to make sure that all our lines are secure. We don't see any obvious signs of damage or leaks. All of our nuts and bolts in here are in place and that everything with the brakes on this side is secure and in place. So as we finished up with the brakes on the inside, we want to check out here through the outside all the brakes. We want to check with the brake pad as best as we can, making sure there's no obstructions or contaminants in here on the brake pad. To the best of my ability, everything with the brake there looks good. So then moving on to the tire and wheel, we're going to start on the inside of the tire. We're looking for cuts, bulges, and abrasions. We'll also look on the outside of here. So we're just looking for any cracks, any cuts, any bubbles on the tire walls themselves. We're also looking at the tire tread. 
We want to make sure that it is an even wear, showing proper alignment, and that it has at least four thirty seconds of an inch of tread. We have plenty here. If it was lower than this, we would check it with a tire depth gauge. Again, then on the inside and on the outside, we want to check the wheel. We're looking for any cracks or breaks. We're looking for any illegal welds or ma massive dings in the wheel. Wheel all looks good. We're looking for, at our lug nuts, that they're all in place, um, that they're not loose. To tell if they would loose, we would be looking for rust coming out or silver shining either on the inside or on the outside showing that that has come out. All lug nuts are in place, look tight. We're gonna check our hub seal. It's secure, it is not leaking either. We're gonna look for our valve stem here. It's right here, it is present. Our cap is in place. And noting with that, that we would have our tires at 100 PSI. Our tire looks good now. If it was in question, we would measure that with a tire pressure gauge. Coming away from the engine bay, one last thing we want to check is our battery box. That is this lower door over here. It opens up just like the fuel door. It opens up with our batteries. We want to make sure that we don't have any loose or frayed wires. There's no excessive corrosion on the terminals or on the wires and that the batteries themselves are secure. These are also maintenance free batteries, so we don't need to add any uh, fluids or anything to those. We'll close that door up. While we're here, just real quick, we're gonna look under the bus. We're gonna look at the frame along here, making sure that we don't have any obvious signs of damage, any cracks or breaks. There's no illegal welds or anything on that frame that shouldn't be. That all looks good. Now that we've checked that, close up our battery door. We can close up the hood. Just a little push. It closes. We want to make sure that we latch it on both sides. And once we're done, we're ready to go for a drive.